Hey ladies, it's Amy Lauren back here. I just wanted to continue um, with, we just did um, a tutorial about lip liner and how to put that on. And one of my customers called me and said, I need something for my older eyes and they're blue and I need the colors. Now I'm gonna do my best, I have brown eyes, so I'm gonna put a blue eyed look on. The nice thing about that is brown eyed people can wear any color, It does. it's fine. But when you have blue eyes or green eyes, um, you want to do something to enhance your eye color, and that'll take us back to, I'll do a little, a little tiny color chart today. Um, if you remember back in art school, when they taught you the primary colors, not art school, but art class, they taught you primary colors in the color wheel, and the, the primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. So when you m put them on a wheel, let's say red goes up, blue goes over here and yellow goes over here. The secondary colors are what those two colors would be when you mix them together. So if I mix red and yellow together, orange would go right here, right? So <laughs> I should really draw this out for you, but my point is over on this leg was blue, right? Red, yellow, blue, and orange is just the opposite of blue. So opposites, if you have blue eyes, if I were to put orange or brown or earth tones on my eye, the blue is going to pop because it's an opposite color and that's what makes your eyes pop. Same with green. So we've got red, yellow, blue, right? Well, we know yellow and blue make green, which is opposite of red. So if you have green eyes, pinks and purples really make green eyes stand out. So, um, now that that's clear as mud and maybe you can remember or not. I put together some, um, when she said, oh, I need a, a look for blue eyes, I didn't even look to see what she had at first. I just said, okay, if I had a customer asking me with blue eyes, I know her skin color, what colors would I generally pick out? So she said for older blue eyes. First of all, for older eyes, you want to use more matte um, on the base. So nothing real with shimmer sparkle anything really near the crease okay so um i put together a look and then i went and saw like she had nine eyeshadows plus two liquid eye colors and the four i chose she had none of them <laughs> so sorry um but i would recommend these four this is a basic look you can do it every single day um, but I also am going to put together some looks with the colors she does have. So that's the benefit of having a consultant. Um, we're going to use what you do have too. I'm going to make these videos so she can see them and decide if she wants to invest in new colors or if she wants to just create looks around the colors that she already has. So that is, I'm your free part. You know, you can call me and go, my gosh, I have this going on. What do I do? Sorry about my hair. It's we're doing makeup before hair today so um, the other thing is everything is 100% guaranteed so if you buy it from me and you use it and you're not happy with it or you just don't like the color let me know it does not cost me anything to exchange these products so I know a lot of people love me so much they're like oh I don't want this to hurt you at all it doesn't hurt me at all you guys we can just exchange that and get you what you're gonna use okay so the colors I chose for her I'm gonna show you Mary Kay has several different palette options so for today's um, series of videos I'm gonna take the my I have a little cheat sheet on mine this is the big old palette right the big one so these are the colors that she has these nine over here these are the four that I chose for her and then these are two cheat colors and I was just throwing colors over here for other looks that we need to put together for this. So um, the colors we're going to use today are going to be Biscotti, Sandcastle, Cinnabar, and Crystalline. Okay, so these are some really basic techniques. Oh, and this is the this is the palette that um, I call it the laptop because it's pretty big. Um, and then the one that, you know, if you've got a lot of eyeshadow colors, I recommend getting that. You can upgrade. Like she probably has one that's about this size. 
you can put six eyeshadows or three eyeshadows in one cheek color but just let me know we'll upgrade we'll exchange for this for the other one and you just pay the difference it's not a big deal okay so the other thing I want to share with you is you need the right tools too so I did all of my makeup just before this I did a video for how to put lip liner on so if you need to see that um, I'm gonna use from the brush collection um, we have five brushes you can get in the brush collection and then we have brushes you can buy individually so I recommend to start with the brush, brush collection and then add the brushes as you need them. Um, these two come from the brush collection. One is an all over eye color and the other one is the crease. You can see how the tip tapers up there. I'm going to start with the all over eye color. So for my base colors or my lightest colors, I'm going to put on the eye. It's going to be an optical illusion. I have a hooded eye so this part is starting to cover my mobile lid. This is the mobile lid here part that moves part you can blink this lid does not move so I'm gonna start with the lightest color which is biscotti and I'm gonna put that I'm gonna imagine there's a line like halfway across my eye right I'm gonna put that on the outside from lash to brow now this is an optical illusion so most women want their eyes to appear wider and more awake so on the outside of the eye, so from the outside to that center line, I'm just putting biscotti. It's, it's a matte color, so this is good for older eyes. Now, from the corner to the center, I'm getting like the inside of the eye, I'm going to start with the sandcastle. It's just a shade darker. So because of that, it creates an optical illusion that my eyes are wider than they actually are and more open than they actually are it's really early morning They're, they look more awake so if you have to get up and go to a job this is a quick it's already done it's already done so you look more awake okay so that's my base some people might just put one color on I put two every day I put two because it creates that optical illusion that my eyes are wider and more awake. Now I'm gonna switch to the crease brush and the third color is Cinnabar. Now this is a neutral, also still matte. It's a little bit darker. And this is just gonna go in my crease and a bit above. So I put the majority, like wherever you touch first is where the color is gonna go the most. And then I'm just gonna use a windshield wiper method Pretty easy right and I'm not even adding color to this brush I'm just pulling the color up as I brush look at that and my job my goal my job it is my job it's not your job my goal is to just bring that about halfway between where my crease is to my brow That's it. That's it. Okay. I'm gonna, I just add some to the very tip of it. Like these Chroma Fusion colors, you do not need to add a lot. Just the tip. I like barely touch the eyeshadow. So again, I'm keeping the color right in the crease the most. Letting that just get all off my brush. And then I'll drag it up. I'll like just brushing back and forth and bringing it up. The reason we want to bring it up, especially with a hooded eye, if I were to just put it in the crease, so imagine I just put it here, when I open my eye, it disappears. So when, you're, when your eye is open, um, relax your eye, so don't like put your makeup on like that. A lot of people do, they pull their eyebrows away and put their makeup on and they can't figure out why it doesn't look right when they're done or if they just have a neutral face. So the best way to get yourself a neutral face is to just take a deep breath in. And let it all go close your eye and then open so we want to bring that color above so we can see it with a natural eye a neutral eye okay so those are the first three colors I might go back with my overall brush that I just put all of the light colors on and just follow the line and so I blended it in Okay, here's the piece that's going to make you look like 
you got up and you did your makeup and you're like such a professional. Um, but it's, you guys, it's a total trick. The fourth color, crystalline. So far I've put all matte colors on today, right? Crystalline has a little bit of shimmer and it's very white. I'm just using the very edge of this brush, lightly just below my brow from where it arches to the outside. I'm going to put that on there. You see how that just, that just brightened that right up right there? This is the idea. It's just a brightener. You're going to put that from the arch to the outside of your brow. And then I'm going to grab the tip and just do the very corner of my eye. Ooh, brightens. Very corner. Okay. And I brought it over a little bit just underneath because now I'm done. That's my eye look. How do you like that? Just real quick, four colors, very neutral. So now I'm going to put eyeliner on. And someone asked me to um, show them how to do espresso eyeshadow. As eyeliner so that's gonna be the next video now this won't look complete until I have eyeliner and mascara on so stay with me